Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. Now you know, if you follow this channel and you enjoy it, you know that my recipes are all about just simplifying things, keeping things really, really easy for you. So we're gonna be doing a Stilton Mushroom and Spinach Wellington, wrapping that up in a beautiful bit of golden puff pastry. This is the perfect alternative for the Sunday roast for a vegetarian. First things first, you're gonna get a pan up to heat and you're gonna add a knob of butter. There, we have got some beautiful chestnut mushrooms. Now it's up to you what you want to use on this. I'm using chestnuts just purely because I know they're what most people have in their fridge. Now you can use any kind of mushroom in here. Just make sure you take out some of the water. Obviously mushrooms are very, very heavy in water. Chop up the mushrooms. Into your pan with your butter. So five to six mushrooms in there. Next up, you're gonna grab yourself a bit of garlic. This is optional, doesn't need to be in there. Skin on. Just press it through the garlic press. That leaves the skin in there. Give that a good stir around. Straight away, what's better than the smell of mushrooms and garlic? We have got a little bit of brandy. So just a small splash of brandy just over the top. Now you can flambe that if you want. I'm just using the induction hobs, so I'm just gonna keep this easy and just sweat off some of that alcohol. That brandy is almost gonna give you that sort of like strong enough sort of taste. Now, big handful of spinach. And then into that, we're gonna go in with around 75 grams of Stilton. Use whatever blue cheese you want. As that cheese starts to melt down and break down into the spinach, that's when we're gonna come off the heat completely and just let that sit and let it just start to cool slightly to solidify. You're gonna roll out your puff pastry. I'm gonna cut that into a square size piece. So you've got a piece about that big, which is about 150 mil by 150 mil. Then, with your knife, you're just gonna sharp mark Small line, either side towards the center. And just continue that exactly the same both sides. Like that. Doesn't get much simpler than that. You grab your spoon, and you're gonna just layer that down the center. Now, we're gonna leave the end one free, but take the second one in and just lightly fold that over the top. And again with the second one from the other side. I'm gonna start building them up in little crisscrosses, sealing in all that flavor. You can be as pretty as you like on this. As you know with me, I'm just gonna throw it all together. It's gonna to look lovely at the end once it's all puffed up anyway. Keep folding them back over, one at a time. Now with the last two pieces, these are gonna come back around the side, like that. And it's gonna finish it off to stop anything else coming out of the side. And you can squeeze down that quite hard and then you can join those two sections together. Now that's encasing it, so it almost looks like a, a shoe. Cheesy shoe, doesn't sound good, does it? Right, good push down, making sure you seal in all those holes. And the same again with the other side. Now it's going to take this off here and lay that really neatly just to my baking tray. Press that all together again. Finish that off, a little bit of milk, one egg. Quick beat up, baking brush, and just baste that over the top, nice and lightly. And it's going to give it that beautiful golden glow once it comes out of the oven. And to finish that off, I'm just gonna put a very small amount of thyme and oregano from the garden over the top. Now that can go into the oven for 20 minutes, 220 Celsius, till it's gone beautiful golden brown. Oh, smells so, so good. just cut this one open. The smell in here with the stilton and a little bit of brandy is incredible. So take a small section off, cut that through. And there we have it. Beautiful crusty top. Oh, so damn good. Packed full of flavour. So there we go, that is my mushroom stilton and spinach wellington. What was that? 25 minutes from start to finish, you've got yourself the most beautiful, easy dinner. If you do recreate this one, which I hope you do, please try this recipe. Hashtag me at Hayes Kitchen, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.